Hammer House of Horror, 1980, Growing Pains. Terence, Terence William. What are you doing? William, William, Terence, his face, it look, it's like hatred. He done, he's dead. I know, what a busy woman you are, Miss Moulton. But James won't be long. Nurse Foster's packing his car, making sure he hasn't forgotten any of his little treasures. There's no hurry, matron. I am taking the whole day off. Oh, splendid. He made, he made their, their glowing colours. Don't you love to hear them singing, mind you? If you knew some of the little horrors, you'd be amazed they are capable. Oh, they are capable. Such an innocent sound. Bright and beautiful. They all seem nice, friendly children. You do a wonderful job here. Oh, that's so very kind of you to say so. But I heard... You do some excellent work for charities yourself, Miss Moulton. I trust that I was very grateful for your handsome check. It was the least we could do. Perhaps with young James, his parents were good, solid, professional people. That brightens up the sky, all things bright and beautiful. Well, there we are, young man, all packed and ready to go. Hello, James. Hello, Miss Moulton. All things bright, and after all, you seem a Miss Moulton. I thought it would be mother now. Be a good boy, don't let me down, and come and see and uh, come and see you very soon. Goodbye, matron. Thank you for all you've done for me. Ripe fruits in the garden, uh, isn't he sweet? Mind your head, James. All things bright and beautiful, matron. Isn't he old? You know, old for that rabbit, Bugsy. Oh, he's just for comfort. After what he's been to see you. After he's been to see you for those few weeks. Do you say why? No, I didn't ask. It don't. You grow. You soon grow out of it. Yes, yes, I'm sure you're right. Keep in touch, James. Let me know how you're getting on. Well, we're nearly there. Looking forward to going home. I think I am. Think I shall miss Matron and some friends. Well, when school starts, you'll make lots of new friends. What shall I do in the holidays? Your father and I are rather busy at the moment, which is unfortunate. But I'm sure you'll find things to do. You can explore in the countryside. Take Nipper for a walk. What a horrid place. It's only a churchyard. Why are the old greys so old? Is that that one? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, James. I didn't know what it was. You couldn't get the steering wheel, get the steering wheel to. Well, just wouldn't. Do what? It was told. Yes, that's right. And after they die, mother and father were cremated. What did you say? Why did you say that? I don't know, really. Whiskers, you're doing very well. Yes, it's certainly all reasonable expectations. Expectations, there. Yeah, in we go. That's it. There we are. You carry on the good work. I'm relying on you. Had your room redecorated since you were the last here. You like the wallpaper? It's very nice. Terence, your father and I bought the crane at Howard's. Well, the famous depo- that's the famous department store in London. You're very kind of him. You're both very kind, James. Please don't say things unless... Unless what? Miss Moulton? Unless what? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Well, you're going to put that rabbit down? Yes, when he settled in, of course. We're eating soon. I hope you're hungry. Have you seen my jackknife? Have you got a jackknife? Matron gave me a list of all your things. No, no jackknife. Unless it's hidden away. I know what boys are like. I don't. I wouldn't do that. It isn't written down there, I suppose. I couldn't have had one. Right. Well, well, wash your hands and face. And then come down. Whatever, whichever way I pull the wheel is as if I wanted to do what? I don't know. Sounds silly, but it felt as if I was struggling with, no, against it. Against what? I don't know. We're passing a church, lorry. There's a fault in the steering or oil on the road, that's all. Look, I'm not a mechanic, I'm botanist. I got Bob Fulton for the garage to have a look at it tomorrow. Can I take the, your car tomorrow? I've got a dock lane committee at 11, and straight on to reception for the Asian refugees, fine. Yeah, I'm here all day. I've got a couple of officials for the World Food Council coming, just to have a look around. But I think they'll be rather impressed. Whiskers have put on 143 grams in a week. Oh, good, Terence, Terence, what? Will you keep an eye on Jane, please? Oh, of course I will. Laurie, I'm absolutely ravenous. Oh, OK. Hey, come on, Whiskers, come on. Hungry, very hungry. Go and sit down. Talk to your father. 
I'll be in a minute, Nippers basket. Come on. Hello, James. I'm sorry I wasn't around when you got in. There was some work I had to finish off before tomorrow. I'm afraid it's rather, it's a rather busy time for me. Miss Morton did explain. Yes, good. I was sorry to hear about the trouble in the car. You know, it tells me you didn't turn a hair here. Hmm? Good for you. I wasn't at all frightened. I don't know why. Good. Oh, do you think you could put that, your rabbit down now, James? Going to eat. Have a little bit of that. Think about clean, cleanliness. He's a little grubby, special. Well, yes, I can see that. What do you call him, Horace? Why do you say that? He's not called Horace. I didn't remember marrying to him, referring to him as Bugsby. He called, he's called Horace now. I changed his name. Why? Why have you changed his name? It just came into my head when most of Moulton asked. A chap perfectly entitled to change his favourite rabbit's name. Change my rabbit's names all the time. One day he could be Bert, a Bob, and he puts on a bit of weight, looks a bit more astrastric, and we name him Cedric, yes. What about those steaks, James? You know, three two-thirds of the world's population never seen a steak. No, don't think I did. Oh, protein star, protein makes you grow. I grow protein-rich plants. Odd-looking things. Someday I'll let you see one. But you mustn't go in to the... I was coming to that. Remember I told you last time you were here? You must never go into my laboratory. On your own, you understand? It's dangerous in the laboratory. No, it's just the plants are delicate and valuable. One day, a lot of people from Africa, or whatever, I might I might put a bit of weight through eating my plants. It was very, that's very interesting, yes. Well, you're not, a, a, not as pleasing as a steak, uh, so I tuck in. Would you mind if we don't eat? I don't eat mine of James. You said you were hungry, I am. Don't like meat, is that it? No, I just don't like these things in it. Oh, how disgusting, oh darling, what the hell? Give me your plate. James, yes, Miss Morton, you were in the kitchen. You pulled out the grinnel pan. I'm hungry. I'm still hungry, Laurie. I'm not suggesting. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm sorry. I'm not. Su- I got something for you. A surprise there, isn't he nice? Well, what shall we call him? I don't know. Perhaps you think of something. Oh, well, I think. So- I thought something. I might just come come to you, just a- like he did earlier. No, nothing's coming to me at the moment. Set a f- funny feeling. What sort of funny feeling? I think he's rather an unhappy rabbit. Happy? Why, he's not his face. His face is quite smiling. I think something rather sad happened to him. James, it's only a toy. It's only a feeling I'm getting. Well, it's a bit very silly feeling. I suggest we call him we're not very astrastric. Definitely not Cedric. We'll call him Harry. What, do you, what are you going to do with Horace? He's very grubby. I'm going to give him a jolly good scrub. Can get him back in the morning. Have me back in the morning, if you say so. Good night, James. Good night, Miss Morton. Couldn't you manage, Mum? I, even Mum would be improvement. Good night, Mother. Don't wait me too long. You had a long day. Ah, oh, James, what's the matter? Poor Harry. Ah, oh, I knew this week about that rabbit. James, how could you? How could I what? You did this. Leave me alone, Miss Morton. I write to my matron, tell her all about you. What about me? Everything. Then you'll be in trouble. They'll take me away, give me some, to someone else. There isn't enough children to go around any more, Miss Morton. I thought you were supposed to be stable. Well, just a child, that's, that's what Paul said. What do you want us to do? Send him back? After all the time it took them to decide it'd be suitable? I know, I don't. I couldn't face that again. Child, girl, five college therapists, put his through in deep, deep depth interviews. Where is he? Tiny's room. What's that mess? No, I did that last night. Good morning. I think it'd be a very nice day today. Do you? James, last night. Yes, father. Oh, it's a very silly cool prank. You mean what happened to Harry? I mean what you did to Harry. You know, I was a very busy woman. She had a lot of important work to do. She had a feeling very... Sh- she's feeling very shaken. So if you please, no more pranks like that. It wasn't a prank. I didn't do it. You were standing by the door. That was on the floor. I was standing by the door because I had been to the toilet. Last night you asked if I'd seen you a jackknife. I knew you were right. I never had a jackknife. I must have know I must know it's true, Matron gave you. James, I think you're lying. No, mother. Telling lies is wrong. I can't talk about this any longer. I told I'm late for my appointments. Where are you going to London? I told you yesterday. I work in the committees. 
in London we're trying to help people who are less fortunate than you what will I do while you are helping those people we talked about that take Nipper for a walk play with your new toys we bought you you're too busy be busy too yes I'm afraid I will I've got some very important people coming to see me today I've seen this before what it's life yes I know we've seen I've seen it before I, it isn't his hello hello it's a nice dog you've got there is it your? Is it yours? No, it belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Morton. Oh, yes. Well, who are you, then? Are you staying with them? I'm James. I'm Mr. Morton's, Morton's new son. That's nice. I don't know. They came in your size when I was a young, a young a new son. I had a new son. He was in, in, was in nappies for 18 months. What are you doing? Trying to find out what's wrong with his car. He won't do as it's told. Oh, yes. That, is that right? Seeing when we started working on its own. Is that a fact? Yes, he took the car all off the ro- all over the road. Miss Walton was very frightened. Were you, were you there then? Yes. Were you scared? No. Here, would you like? Would you help me do this? Or try turn the wheel for me when I say you're right. Stay, right. Try again like this. Right, right. Now try it the other way. Okay, thanks. Yeah, leave it. Do you find out? Did you find out what's wrong? No, I can't see anything yet. Probably the power steering box. Do you know where my, your, new, your new daddy is? He's busy in his laboratory. You can't disturb him, right? No. You've got some important visitors. You've got to take his car down to my garage and really strip it down, right down. Will you tell him that? Can, you, can I come with you? No, sorry, son. Not allowed. Oh, what's the matter? Bored? Your own company? I am a bit, yes. Well, you've got a nice dog there. I expect you can play nice games with him. I expect so. Goodbye. Good morning, Miss Dr. Morton. Good morning. What a jolly and a fine house. What a beautiful roses. The James's church side is very bright very fresh this time of year. Yes, we like it. Did you stop somewhere? Yes, the cob of kettle calf, the cafe and it arrayed instantly. The told your beams of plastic plastic and so were the sandwiches coming in. Let's see if we can improve on that. Thank you, thank you. What's the matter, Nipper? You you seen for the notes a few grams per day, a supplementary DL thirty E three proteins built whiskers from a seven tone weakling. The impressive specimen he is today. No, he's going to kick sand in your face, are they? Seven stones? No, not literally. No, what what I meant was, I think this is conclusive. DL eighty three, where it's baked in a loaf or sprinkled over a traditional diet, can supplement the diet of equivalent half a pound of fish. I meet a day a very a very pressed Dr. Morton. Good. But I hope you can convey that view to your colleagues. I will indeed. Now tell me, can those biological biological specimens be cultivated in all sorts of climates, extreme heat or cold? Perhaps you'd like to show him the notes and supporting documentation, Mr Negogo. Certainly. Why are you frightened? Why is so we both why are we both frightened? Can I ask a question, Dr. Morton? But of course. Do you eat this DL-83? Well, not on a daily basis, though I have. On a daily basis, I have no doubt. Eat chicken, fish, steak, great. Yes, let let yes, let the waste eat cake. A granaries are full. Your butter mountains, beef mountains, wine lakes. Meanwhile, let the starving fair world eat DL-33, which could presumably be grown on the moon. I'm not a politician or an economist. A research biologist, to this, doing what they can to help eradicate a problem. A major concern to all two thirds of the world, let alone the World Food Council, the figure me, had no wish to be insulting. There's something I must ask. Yes. Is it not true that some of these specimens have evolutionary effects limited to ASD? There was one case which resulted in, correct me, a wrong and a death, a painful death. Yes, that's right. Come on, Nipper. Come on, come on. I'm only an old church head, I repeat. Come on, come on, it's only an old church, should I repeat? It was, a, it was an accident, a very tragic accident. But uh, I, in no way discredits BL33. Problem did not lie within the plant itself. Investigated it thoroughly after and found a virtually insectable mold appear, appeared and under one of my early folk gold specimens. The mold was probably similar to an SD. Well, okay, yes, it's sim- several similar organisms. Someone ate the compound, right? Yes. Went to his grave in a horrible trance. No, he did not. Do you see his effect the brain? No. Through the central nervous system. Death is certified. The brain activity has ceased. 
It follows that one cannot go to one's grave in a trance. This is who I want to see. William Moulton, 1969-1973. 79, Vira P. Who are you, William Moulton? What do you want of me? Come away from there. What's got into you? There is a grave you've been defiling. It's a grave you've been defiling, you're sinful. There's a far greater sin's debts that must be paid. Where's Nipper, your dog? He rang off. Over there, thank you, Hill. Come on, there's a good dog. Oh, my God, look at this, old Dr. Morton. How could you? Could a dog get into those cages? At least he's spared whiskers. Yes, you're living proof that DLL 83 works, hello. It's all right for me to be here. Yes, Nipper's with you, yes. Oh, dear, was it Nipper? Not much of a nipper, is he? Are you shocked by what he's done? Oh, yes. He's seen such a nice dog, so well trained. At least that's what I thought until I came to the grave, William Morton. Who know? Is yeah, still here? Then, yes, they drink coffee by the gallon. Where's James? He's wandered off somewhere. He's probably looking for that damn dog. He's been some day. He's been some day, I can tell you. Dog got in the lab. Nipper? What happened, gentlemen? My to my wife, Laurie. Mr. Nagago, Mr. Lawrence, from the World Health Food Council. Please sit down. My husband told me what's happened. I'm sorry. The subjects to such a dreadful incident. They were rabbits. Rabbits were killed and eaten every day. They were Dr. Mortal's rabbits. Very special rabbits to feed the wretched millions of this world. We, uh, we are. It's we who are sorry, Mr. Morton. A dog has tasted blood. This is a important point. I guess it. I've been seen it so many times in the bush. My animal has tasted blood. It needs more. It'd never be satisfied. What is it then? Quite simple. The animals are demons. Possessed by evil spirits, Mr. Marston. We're here as a representative of the elite, privileged elite, the advanced section of the world, world community. What hope is there for our people? We continue to perpetrate such mumbo jumbo. But the demons are everywhere, Mr. Nukuri. If we'll sit, let's go, let's go, Don't, Mr. Nokiki, Mr. Austin, help. Get off of him, get him off, get him off, get him off, off Nipper, get off. Quick, we must lock him away. Where shall we put him? In the cellar. Come on, put him in the cellar, thank you. I sorry, Dr. Waters, goodbye. This should put a stop to his fun and games. What do you put on it? A good dose of poison, GT28. What? What's that, William? All right. Poison is a poison... I've been well and truly tested. Bye, Nipper. Rest in peace, James. You're not eating. Because of Nipper, we had to put him down. Is there anything we could do for him? For all of us, perhaps. I think I'll, be- I'll go to bed now. Good night, Mother. Good night, Father. Night, James. I'll be up in a minute. Terence, there's something bad evil happening in this house. Oh, come on now. Just because the loopy Africans. He's not just, not just him. It's everything. The car, the horrible incident. Rabbit's now Nipper. He is such a gentle, docile animal. Bob Fulton took the car in his, this morning, and there's nothing wrong with steering wheel. Steering. Hello. Thank God you're still with us. Yeah, where would I be without my star pupil? Come on. Little blood test. Then we put you on the cake scales. Still in your dressing room gown? Thought you had been in bed by now. Who, how, who was William Moulton? It's your name. Was he a relative? He was your son. Our son. Been to the courtyard. It's morning with Nipper. I'm your son now. Yes, James, you are. Was William unhappy? No, he, we were unhappy, James, when he died. Why are you always saying people things are, things are unhappy? I keep getting these faults in my head from somewhere, from where. I don't know where they come from. Forget those silly faults, get into bed. William Morton, private a poem. By William Morton, Mum and Dad, how they care. They feed a well love as well, who's on it. William Morton, their son. Air is large as sight, a distant comet. You come at last, William Morton. I knew you could, you would. There, Nipper. No, it can't be, James. What is it? Who loves the world? Fees all who's in it. You, mother, William. Your flesh and blood is out of sight. William Morton's out of sight. Always out of sight, oh, William. Always out of sight, out of sight, James. What are you doing? Was, I was lonely. I thought I heard Nipper. I was frightened. I thought I heard him too long. Look, just go to bed, huh? Yes, good boy, right, James. Yes, mother. Are oh, you right? Do you really hear Nipper, too? Well, I heard something, a dog. Now, it couldn't have been Nipper, could it? No, mother. Come on, into bed. I'll tuck you in there. Night, night, sweet, tight. 
pleasant dreams. That's what I used to say to William. But he's little. William Morton, private. Where did you find this? In a drawer amongst the books. I think he must have cared about you very much. Did you care about him? What? Did you care about William? Of course. Of course I cared about him. He was my son. Did Dr. Mr. Morton care about him or James? Why do you ask such questions? Because I think William was very unhappy. No, it says so in the book. No, it says so in the book, mother. Mum and dad, oh, oh they, how they care. They feed the well, love and who's. Oh, the who's in it, on it. But William Morton, their son, the heir is out of sight, a distant comet. It's your son now. I'm your son now. That's right, I'm tired. So am I. Good night, good night, mother. Do you care about William? Of course I cared about him. Was he my, he's my, he was my son. Did Dr. Mr. Morton care about him? Did Mr. Morton care about him? Did Mr. Morton care about him? Of course I cared about him. He was my son. Did Mr. Mortimer Morton care about him? Did Mr. Morton care about him? Will blood count pulse rate? High, highly satisfactory. Then go once the third world to carry on. Starving, that's his problem. Whiskers, here you are. A little undotted substance, sir. Of all physical completion. Complete, completion. Trial period. Right. Now for that phone call. Yes, sir, Charles. Arthur. Trial period ended today. Trial period ended today. I saw it's very bad line. Yes, highly satisfactory and conclusive. The yeah, question, the biological specimen. I am alive, I are alive and well, living lurch for more heath. What, uh, what was that, sir? Terence. Shh, I'm sorry, didn't hear. What was that? Darling, what, what are you? Oh, Sir Arthur Blunt, talking about the fellowship. For God's sake, listen, it sounds like Nipper. Yes, Nipper, that's impossible. I buried him myself. We buried William too. But he's, still, he, he's here in his house. Well, I saw him, Terence. He hates us. There's someone in the lab. Don't come any nearer, Father. William? Yes. I can break a rabbit's neck. A farm could show me. William, is it you? What do you want? You love whiskers. You loved all your rabbits. You spend all your time in here, feeding them, rewarding them. When you put, when they put on weight. What about me? No time for William. So he ate some of your poisonous powder, hoping you'd love him, thought to reward him. He did, he did love her, hate you. No, don't. Oh, God, don't touch that. A plant that's going to make your name. Damn your name. No. Let him go. No. Poor Nipper, poor William. To the graves he went in a trance. In a trance they went to the graves. William, look, whatever you are, whoever you are, please give me that plant. It's a lifetime's work. It should have been all your our lifetime's work. Follow him, follow him, find a peace. Leave him, no, no. I want my plant, father. Come, father. Dance and dance on your son's grave. Give me my plant. Come on. And see how he cares, how he loves. Dance your son's grave. I want that plant. Please, it's my life. No, I was your life. You never saw me. He's dead, mother. Peace. Why are you in pe- we at peace together? Bye, mother. Hello, mother. Why are we here? I'm not sure. Yes, I do know why we're here. Look, mother. Growing on William's grave is a reef. Reef, mother. For all the unloved of this world, 